got the legislature uh, to agree to come out here in January of 2002. The whole legislature came out here to K-State. Mm. And uh, they'd never had a session outside of Topeka in the whole history of the state. And that's when they came up with three buildings, a medical building for KU, uh, our, our BRI, our Food Safety and Security Institute for us, and an aviation building in Wichita. Mm -hmm. So, okay, then that's like phase two of, ah, okay, now we've got this $54 million uh, BRI building, it's the Bioscience Research Institute. It's probably the most advanced B-level three building in the world today. Again, uh, Homeland Security doesn't announce until about three years ago that the Plum Island site, which is off New York City, hey, it's antiquated. To, to rebuild it is going to cost hundreds of millions. So that's when the Homeland Security said, we've got to recite it somewhere in the continental United Does the States. light go off immediately in your head? Yep. To submit a proposal. Mm -hmm. Now, Pat Roberts deserves a lot of credit. I mean, he was all over this. Every state of any consequence, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Illinois, Iowa, uh, all go, because you're talking a $600 million building. Think about that. A $600 million building and 300 scientists making 150000 or more. I mean, just every state wants it. So 17, uh, 32 actually submit proposals. Then the uh, Homeland Security team of five boils it down to 17, and we're in that. And then it takes them about a year to boil it down to five. And the Admiral Jay Cohen visited all 17 sites, including here. And I actually think there was a period of time there where we weren't on anybody's radar screen. Manhattan, Kansas, come on, you got to be kidding. I think they were giving more thought to um, Leavenworth. Hmm. That was one of the two sites that Kansas had. And they were only going to spend an hour or two here. No kidding. I, I think they were just going to say, okay, we've looked at Manhattan. And, and the uh, four people came here, and it was like they were stunned at what we had here. Then they said, can we see your housing areas? Can we see downtown? That's when we thought, maybe we have a chance at this. Hmm. But still, who are we going up against? Texas. Do they lose at anything? Georgia. You know, the political clown? Mississippi. You know, their governor, Haley uh, Barber. Yeah. They're two U.S. senators. It's like they get whatever they want. Yeah. And, uh, oh, and then North Carolina. So that's who we're up against. It's like going into the final four where every team's capable of winning it all. And you think the BRI? I think the fact that we had uh, the finest food safety and security program in the country or in the world, then I think building the BRI building, which we said, you know what I said to the Admiral when he came here? Admiral Jay Cohen, they call him Admiral because, you know, once you're an Admiral, you're always an Admiral. Mm -hmm. He said, do I get this right? If we pick you, we can have this $54 million building? I said, you got it right now. You got it. But still, all these other states are weighing in. You know, and they're all touting their advantages. So how we finally got it is we put together a bipartisan team. The governor, the lieutenant governor, both U.S. senators, the congressional delegation. Uh, it was almost like, boy, if every basketball or football team had that kind of teamwork, mm -hmm. they'd go undefeated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so Pat Roberts, at let's say at 9.30 in the morning, gavel the meeting to order. Well, who's at this meeting in his conference room? Uh, Pat Roberts, Sam Brownbeck, the two U.S. Senators, the Governor, the Lieutenant Governor, uh, the whole Congressional delegation, uh, the Speaker of the House, Melvin Neufeld, the President of the Senate, Steve Morris, the two minority leaders, uh, Dennis McKinney and Tony Anthony, they're all there in that room. So when we went over to see the Admiral, and, and we went around introducing ourselves, he couldn't believe it. No state has ever shown up where mm. everybody of consequence was there. Mm. So I would say those are all the reasons that we got it, and then, you know, throw in a little luck. Mm. And then the, the last thing is Melvin Neufeld, the Speaker of the House. Uh, he was here on Wednesday afternoon when we were hearing about it, and I said, Melvin, look, you grew up here. You've been Speaker of the House. What do you think this means for Kansas? He said it's the biggest thing to happen to Kansas in 120 years. Well, since when? When the railroads connected from east to west? Mm. You know, providing the infrastructure to get our crops to market and everything? Isn't that something? Sounds like you can't find a hyperbole big enough to... 
Well, if, if there is one, I'll invent it. Okay. <laughs> like I've said, this is the greatest single event in the history of Kansas State, except for when Bill Snyder and I came to town. <laughs> <laughs>